Oh, guys, I'm sorry about the lighting. It is so dull outside. It's like 20 past 10, but it's been raining and really dull. And I have got every light on. I have taken probably about half an hour <laughs> sitting in every position that I could possibly think of to sit because I still haven't got my wee space sorted in my room um, just because of all the things in the works that was going on. Um, this is actually the best, so it's not the best lighting, so please just stick with me. <laughs> don't leave, don't leave. Right, so it's just going to be a short video today because I don't have loads to share. Um, I'm going to be coming in here every single week, but I'm not going to have loads to share every week. I will sometimes. Um, so let's get straight to it, because that's just how I like it done. I just like getting straight to it and we can leave the garden to the end. Um, right, so I do have a finished item. I do have a finished item. Next week I shall have a few. This week I have one. Yay! <laughs> And it is my ranunculus, my ranunculus. And it fits amazing. Do you know, I cast it off. I, I did the rib. Um, so, I did the rib. And you can probably see where I then undid it and picked it back up and done more. Because <laughs> that's just how I knit. Um, I know I had a big rib, but I thought, oh, no, I don't know if I'm going to like that. So I cast it off and I have to just kind of like, I can't just like visualise it in my head. Sometimes I actually just really need to just see what it's going to be like. So I cast it off and I thought, uh -uh, mm -mm. it's going to have to have the big rib. And I'm not usually a fan of a big rib, but do you know what? I think a lot of my jumpers are going to have big ribs on them from now. I really like it. Um, and I love it. So I tried it on this morning, yes, I know, I finished it the other day and I never tried it on because that's just how I roll apparently. Um, but I tried it on this morning and I was just like, oh my gosh, I love this, totally love it. And I love where the sleeves come, and I just, I'll just try it on. It'll mess up my hair down as well. But can I say, right, give me a second, over the hair, I've got loads of hair but it's so fine. Right, so I did the wide neck, <laughs> as you can see, that's the wide neck. Um, I wonder if it will let me stand up. Right, so this is this is a long vest, so like my kind of hips are up here, or my waist is up here, my hips, oh, I don't know. Right, anyway, so this is where my hip bones are, and this is where like the kind of top of my thighs kind of thing is. So it's over the belly at the top of my butt and it's the big rib and I'm so glad I added it on and I'm really just standing up so I can show you the sleeves. I wanted three quarter length sleeves even though it's coming into winter. I still wanted that and I'm so glad. It is just lovely. It is just so, so, so nice. I love it so much. It just, I don't even know what size I did. I don't know if I did the first size. I don't know if I did the second size. And if you've knitted a ranunculus, you'll know what I mean. I just knitted. <laughs> I just knitted. I think it won, but I did the... I did the... I was doing, like... Because this is just all... This is just no size, I think. Um, and then I, I started knitting the first... It's just a mixture between the first and second size, really. That, that was just that. <laughs> Uh, if you go to knit it, you'll see what I mean. On the sleeves, I did just a small... It's not blocked yet. It's not blocked. So I wouldn't be putting... I wouldn't be blocking it out a lot. It'll probably be like a centimetre of anything. But you know how you need to just get your stitches all blocked so they're all they're all neat and tidy and stuff. Um, I'll leave this rib the way that it is. I'll leave that at that at that length, at that, that size. That was just what I fancied doing at this point. I have got a wee ladder-ish, but you can't really notice it that much, to be honest, now that it's off the needles, because um, I've magic looked them. Um, I'll leave them at that size, but, you know, I'll if I was to do them again, I, I definitely will be doing this again. And... I think I'll give myself longer sleeves just because our winters tend to last 
nearly all year. <laughs> or autumn's a long time and winter is a long time. Um, so I'll probably knit it longer, but what I might do is give myself a really long rib. I think that would be so nice. There's so many ways you can knit this and I've looked at so many different photographs of knitters using, I need to take this off because it is quite warm, it's, it's raining, but it's, there's a lot of um, heat in the air. The neck is nice and stretchy, I love it. Like, I just love everything. I mean, it looks huge on there, but you can, when I do that, but you can see that it's not, when, I, when I've got it on, it isn't. And I'm not the biggest person. What, I mean, what what's the bad to say about Renunkel? Now, okay, I'll say this. Now I get it. Now I get the Renunculus obsession. I got the Love Note obsession and I did a few of them. Love the Love Note. Still will do more Love Notes. And I love this. I love how the pattern was. It was just so simple. I mean, what can I really say? It's just fabulous. I love it so much. I love it. And I'm so glad that, I put, as I said, you can see that, but once it's blocked, you won't. Once, once, oh, I don't even know what else to say. I just love it. That um, There's nothing else that I can add on to this that you probably haven't watched in other people's vlogs. It's as simple as that, and all you're ever going to see me knitting is just black and grey, so if you love it, keep watching. This, apart from my socks, I love colourful socks. But this was, it was such an enjoyable knit. Um, there were some stitches on here that I hadn't done before, you know, like knitting in between the second and third. And, you know, and, and I thought, that is so good. I really liked that. I really enjoyed it. Um, I cast off the way they told me to cast off as well, doing the doing the twisty the twisty cast off. Um, it kind of annoyed me for a wee bit, for maybe like three or four minutes. Then I was just like, "Look, this will be nice. This will be nice and stretchy. Um, just do it and shut up. Stop moaning, right? Because I'm a terrible moaner. I like I like to do all these things, but I want them to do it them themselves." <laughs> So anyway, that was just, that was my experience of an anunculus. If you've not done one, done do it, get it on your list. And if it's on your list, get it done. I had yarn in my stash because that I yarn, I bought in this, especially because I liked it. I seen someone else had bought it um, and had showed it undyed and I was like, oh, I like it. So I bought this to not dye it and I bought it just for myself. Um, and if I hadn't used it then I would have sold it but um, I had no plans to dye over it because it's just lovely. Uh, I I love it because it was knitted in 6mm needles um, and then the ribs were 5mm needles. So it was a quick big finish and I love it and it doesn't matter what size you are, get these knitted because if you have to go, if you have to go up an extra, like, so these were done in six millimetre needles, see if you have to knit it on eight millimetre needles, do it. Like, if you've been knitting for the amount of years that I've been knitting, like, I don't gauge, like, I cannot, I cannot abide gauging. I'm never going to gauge, I'm never going to do it and that's it. If something, if I can tell by looking at it as I start to knit, that, that I need to either go up or down or whatever, then that's what I'm going to do. I always just adjust it. I can't abide gauging them never, ever. Um, so what I would say is if you are bigger and it maybe it doesn't, I, I don't even know what the size, I think it does actually go up to a big size. So I think you're going to be fine if you're bigger and if you're smaller, just come down on your needles. If it, if only, you know, if you're smaller than the smallest size, because I think it does, do you know what? It goes from really small. It's like, they're like ten Maduri is like, is that what they're called? It's Maduri. It's like Cafe Maduri, isn't it? Um, they're like tin can knits. They're really inclusive. And that's what I love. But all I'm saying is, just play around with your needles. 
I think you can gauge, but if you if you if you're like free spirited like I am, <laughs> then and you want to go against all the gauging rules, then don't gauge and just play around with your needle size. That that's all I would do. If you've got time, it's a jumper. It's not like these are. Nothing is not meant to be rushed. If you want to rush it and that's the kind of mood you're in, then absolutely go ahead and do it. But don't rush because you feel as if you need to finish this to so you can show something and then get something else cast on. Enjoy what you're knitting and just enjoy it. Go with the flow and enjoy what you're knitting. I've seen too many people throwing out too many things and I think you can possibly be enjoying what you're knitting. If you're then jumping on to cast on something else, enjoy it. Take a step back, breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. The patterns are not going anywhere. Enjoy what you're knitting. Enjoy this, and I really enjoyed this. Um, so play around to your needles, get one cast on, and you'll end up casting on more. It is fabulous. There's no much else I can say in this other than. If you've not got the pattern, you won't realise that. But if you look at, look it up on Ravelry, and then you will see the pattern's made for any yarn. Any yarn whatsoever. So just go for it. Just go for it. Lace weight, double knitting. I mean, I dare say if you wanted to do it in a thicker yarn, it's going to look amazing as well. It's just going to be a cosy jumper, but it's just going to be an enjoyable yoke to knit. So do it. Like, I love it. I love it. And I'm so glad I decided just to give myself the quarter length sleeves. And I measured them. <laughs> I measured that. I thought, right, okay, kind of, you know, I want them just to come just below the elbow. Fabulous. I love it. I love it so much. Absolutely love it. So that's my finished item. I've managed to talk, for a short video, I've managed to talk for 12 minutes. Um, right, let's see what else I've got. Because I do want to keep it quite neat. Right. My Fair Isle Mitts by Alison Rendell. This is a bag of land mitts. And thank you, Alison, for putting me down in. This is, this is wee Poochie. Um, I left, thought I'd leave the door open because there's nobody else in the house. And these will just start barking if I don't. So, oh, big game's in as well. And I've seen him sneaking in. Um, right, so, Alison, lovingly, and kindly said that I'm an expert in that of these Vagaland mitts and I have to agree with you. I mean I have to agree with you. Um so this is my Vagaland mitts. Obviously I've not I've not done my thumb yet and I haven't like done all these bits yet. But that one's finished. Like I did say it would be finished and I have started this one. So I started this one last night in my bed. So I'm now turned inside out. So that's there. I've not now turned inside out to get the actual glove bit. So what I'm on now is this rib. So I've done, I've done like one or two rows and then I was like, right, go to bed. Because what I'm trying to do is go to bed early, watch TV and knit just to a certain time, put the knitting down, get to sleep to get up early. And I'm setting my alarm for six o'clock and it's just not doing it and I'm turning it off. It doesn't even, in my dream, it's not even like the alarm that's going off. So, I think it's just menopause. I'm on these patches and my body is just tired. Move, Surin. Go on. Um, he's trying to get under the tripod. Um, so I think that's what it is. So I've, I've now this morning, I said to my husband, right, I'm setting five alarms starting at 5.45 to try and get myself up. I love getting up really early and I'm used to always getting up like five in the morning. And I'm okay, I'm waking up about 10, 8, 8 o'clock. That's no good enough. That's like half my morning gone. I can't be doing with that. And it's it's my knitting time, you know. I like to get up and greet the day, um, as I do. Um, I like to go barefoot, you know, light some candles at my altar, just be grateful for the earth and the air and the fire and the water and the food and just everything, just be grateful. So I like to do my devotions in the morning very early. And now that it's starting to get, it's darker each morning now, I like to get up before the sunrise. So... My body's just like, N -n -n. Uh -uh. so five alarms, oh my gosh. Right, so this is my Vagaland mitts. How my Vagaland mitts got onto that, I don't know, but however, my Vagaland mitts. So I have finished one and started on the other, and I'm really glad about that. So this is a pattern, I will put it below. This 
hopefully I'll remember and put it below. If I haven't, let me know. Um, but it's Vagaland Mitts. You can find it on Ravelry and it's Alison Rendell. Um, Alison with one L, two L's. Yeah. I'll put it below. Um, and she has quite a few other patterns that I have bought as well that I really need to do, like the hat and the wee slipper um, things. I'm going to say slipper things because I can't remember what it is she calls them. Um, but um, I've got the stir bra socks. I've got so many of her patterns that I really want to get to knit and I really want to do these stir bra socks. Um, and these are knitted, obviously, um, using Jameson's of Shetland Spin Drift. So this is like a two-ply, but it's a jumper weight. Um, and this colour here is mocha. So I decided to go for all the browns because I have a brown, big, long, amazing brown um, Borg teddy bear coat. Oh, man, it's so warm. If you've not got one, get one. Um, and I just thought I'm going to have brown gloves because I'm like that. <laughs> to go with my coat. And you'll not see them because my hands will be tucked up inside the sleeves, but I will know they're there. So these are all kind of browns and I decided to put a bit of green through it just to break it up. Just cause. So I've done quite a few of these. My girls have got them and I've been through all that last week. So that's that. So I did do something else. I did put a bit, a bit. I haven't cast anything else on. And even though I've now finished the jumper, automatically my brain went to, oh, right, what kind of jumper can I knit next? But I was like, no, I'm not because I'm still going to use my stash and I'm going to work through my whips because there's too many and I can't cope. So that's that whip. Um, I did buy some other yarn, but I will show you them. Oh, they're all tangled and everything. Do you know what I'm going to show you? I'm going to show you this. Wait till I get it off. I don't know when you have got them. I've had this for about maybe a year or so. And it's a wee, it's a wee crochet hook. I, need, I must remember to take this wee stitch marker off um, a progress keeper um, and it's a wee crochet hook and it's by Pedro's is it oh gosh what's it called Pedro something and she makes all these wee crochet hooks this is a four millimeter and I thought that's really handy if I if I work because it's I mean I know it's tiny but it's still okay to hold you know um and if I wanted to crochet anything like in the car or something you know if you fancy just doing something in the end of a blanket or whatever. Anyway, so I can't remember what the name is. I have no memory. Pedro, Pedro Plaques or something. Try that. Have to be look up. So it's on Etsy. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that because it's hitting me off here. Right. I did do these other socks. I have these going. And this was yarn that I had <clears throat> dyed myself. And this was a sock set. It was Pixie something. I can't remember. So I finished a sock, I was going to stick it on, I haven't brought it down, I was going to stick it on my sock blocker just because it, it shows better, but um, that's it there, I don't know, all the socks that I knit for myself, I don't block, I mean I'll, I'll wash them and I'll kind of flatten them out and let them flat dry, but anyway, so I'll block these ones because they're for someone else, this is for a nurse that was in the practice that I worked in, so this was her sock and I'm now at the heel, the heel flap for the other one. So I am putting a bit of, a bit of oomph into, <laughs> into um, my whips because I need to get them done. I can't be doing with these. Right, so that's that. That's all I've really been working on was my ranunculus, my mitts and the socks. And that's all I'm working on for the next couple of days. Now as my mitt, the other mitt, Get the thumbs done. I like to do the thumbs after I finish the both mitts and then finish these socks and get them to the nurse. Right, what I do want to show you though is some yarn that I've been buying for um, a wee baby that I know someone who's having a wee baby and it's on the way. So I'll do some knitting, maybe larger sizes because all her family will be knitting, I dare say, for her. Um, and I happen to like that person, so I don't mind doing some knitting for them. <laughs> um, uh, and for my wee granddaughter. So, 
I've just not. I really, I used to enjoy knitting baby things. I'm just really not. It's not any fun. But what I have bought is a wee romper. And I can't remember the name of the person right, right this minute. But what I'll do is I will link her as well because I did buy them off Ravelry. So that's Alison and this other person. Um, uh, so I did buy patterns. So I'll leave them for next week and I'll show you patterns. Because I have bought loads of patterns. And I like it when people share the patterns, but I forgot. Give me two seconds, actually, because it's just here. And then I can quickly show you some of the patterns that I've been buying as well. Right, so I'll show you the yarn first. Um, and I do apologise still about this light. Um, I will change this. What I need is one of the big lights, so I might eventually um, treat myself to one of them. Right, so let me show you some of the yarn. Now, I don't knit really well. Like, the knit, the stuff that I dye, I will use some of that for um, the baby because it'll be nice. But this is, I've got, you've got to think about um, a non-knitter. They're not going to look at, they're not going to look at real the same way you would look at it. So, they're going to just want something that goes in the washing machine. Right, so, and Stylecraft is perfect for that. So this is, um, this is called Powder, Powder Pink in the shade 1843 and it's just a Stylecraft special double knitting but it's a lovely pinky colour and it's just going to blow out. That's kind of basically the colour it is. I know it's a wee bit far away from the camera. If I hold it up it just blows out. So that's like it and that's just a couple of the, I, I have bought a few. I did buy myself another sock yarn. I went to, my friends were trading at a wee kind of holistic event and there was someone there selling wool. So, um, and this was, it was, they were selling this for £5. So I thought, oh, why not? It's a four, it's a superb tweet. And it was only £5. So I thought, I could just buy that. Um, and it's 100 grams and it's wool and acrylic, viscose. Polymide. I'll just be great for winter socks. So I'll get a right good pair of winter socks out of that. And I'll maybe make them a bit longer just because it does get cold here. Where I live, it's right on the water. So we have the winds constantly from the water. So that'll be good. So I'll knit myself. I like that because it was cream and all the wee flakes. So I bought that. Um, I bought these yarns and these are... This is a Drops Baby Merino. How many is in this? It's 100% wool. But it's really soft. It's non itchy. So that's that one. The Baby Merino. Um, I don't even know. This looks like a double knitting. To be honest, let me see what's, what's the needle size. 3mm needle hook. 3mm. But it does look like a, like a double knitting, to be honest. Like between a four ply and double knitting. So it just says baby merino mix. Don't even know what's in it. Super wash treated extra fine merino wool. And this is colour 22. Again, it's just getting blown out. I'm really sorry. My lighting is so bad. I always try and film at this time because because it's just going to be just nice. But where I am right now, I'm just in my living room. So I've got my French doors here and then my window. Oh, maybe I should have closed day blinds. Might have helped. I've got my big light on and I've got my lamp on here. I've got my wee lights. My wee, I've got wee fairy lights that go along here. But however. Right, so I've got these wools. I got these from Lovecrafts. Um, and it's Willow and Lark Ramble. So it's a really splendid superwash wool. And it's 50 grams. I'll give me a wee second just to... 4 millimetre needle. So it is a double knit. Um, so... Not upside down. <laughs> there we go. So Willow and Lark. And it's a, just a lovely baby pink. It's not a bright pink. Just a lovely baby pink. So I got two. So I got 100... Um, 100 grams just and that will do something it will do something even if I've got you mix and match yarns and mix and match sleeves and ball bands and because sometimes um, button bands because sometimes I just like to get groovy that way you know 
good. <laughs> just like to mix it up. I'm a bit, I'm, I'm very hippie-ish, so um, if something's a bit loud and different, I actually don't mind. I do wear colourful things. Right, so these are my favourites. I love these. I love West Yorkshire spinners and I love bow peep. So I got greys. So I'm excited to try these. These are double knitting, 50 grams. So this again, um, normally like my wee granddaughter's just coming up in one and 100 grams still does her. You know, I don't, I don't ever need to go break in another ball or anything. Although I, I don't know about you, but I always buy an extra ball or something. You just, I don't know why you do it, but I always do it. Um, so, but this time I never saw, I've just got 100 grams um, of each colour. This is, let me just tell you, 52% Falkland wool and 48% nylon. So these, I mean, you don't just need to use them for baby nuts. You can use them for anything. They used to even do socks, actually, as well. Um, so, but I love these. I love bow peep yarns. They're super, super, super soft and just snuggly. Just, you know, that way I snuggly knit. So I've already got a pattern up the stairs. Oh, I'll get, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I just don't know why I don't want to do it right now. I just don't. I'm just not enjoying it. I don't know if it's a pattern or the fact that it's a baby in it. I don't know because I had just done a few for my granddaughter. So maybe that's why I'm just kind of, you know. Um, so, but I've got these and I love these and I want to cast something on. So I'm going to be doing that. Right. So this is the Bellissima. This is the the ball that, as I said, I bought two. I've got to buy two everything. <laughs> um, so this is the colour that I have up the stairs I already started so I really need to get finishing and I just bought these as well this is bamboo double knitting by bambino sorry double knitting by style craft this is like baby hands and it is really 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 soft it is lovely um right so let me tell you this is these are 100 grams this is shade 7115 Grey Mist. And it's machine washable um, and it's 100% acrylic, but it's really, really, really soft. And this will just be fab just for throwing in the washing machine, especially if you've just got a baby. They're always into everything, eating everything. Everything goes everywhere. So it should be fine just to throw in the washing machine. And maybe when she gets a wee bit older, they'll start using some of the yarn that I dye. <laughs> but no, they're now. So that's all the yarns that I've been knitting. I've been buying just now. Right, I'll sort them out after. So let me find that wee pattern. Right, this is another pattern that I bought um, recently. And it's called Wee Field Mouse Socks. And they're super, super cute. Look at that. Like, it's a wee field mouse with a wee leaf umbrella. And it's by Sarah Kelly of Grey Owl Knits. Like, and I got that on um, Ravelry, and it's like wee toadstools at the feet. Like, how cute is that? Oh my gosh, so I can't wait to get them done, because I love them. Right, I'm looking for these. Oh, there it's there. There we go. I'm glad I didn't have to go too far down to get them. Right, make sure get that up. I really need to get a folder for these. I've got folders for things. Right, so this, this is the wee romper. This is the wee rompers I got. The pattern. There's super, there's so many rompers. Oh, my daughter loves putting um, the baby in this. And it's by Knits Do Nord. Knits Do Nord. So let me just hold that up so you. So I follow her on Instagram. Um, and I just clicked her link and went and bought these. Love, love it. And then I've got this wee cardigan. Again, I've got so many sitting in my favourites just now. I'm to take it out that so you can see it better. So, just lovely. So, I might I might have a go at these. And then maybe that'll get me over my whole, I can't be bothered with baby knits. Right. So, that's what I've got going on just now. But what, what I want to do is show you so... 
All I'm going to do for this wee bit here is show you some of the wee orphan Annie yarns I've got sitting in my shop that I just want somebody to buy them. And they're off free de uh, delivery. Right, so I have... I've got this Stellina. Oh, there we go, you can see it. So I've got a Stellina. I've got... These are like Sugar Plum Fairy and things like that. Um, I've got this one that's the Stellina, look at that, how gorgeous is that? I've got that, I've got some sock sets. I've got this one, this is called Lady of the Lake, I've got two of these. And this is Amarino Nylon. Okay, Amarino Nylon. Another sock set. I've got this one. This one has just been here for ages and it's called Yuletide. It's a merino nylon as well. They'd make great Christmassy socks. They get two wee shorty ones out of that. I've got, I'm just going to show you a couple. Um, so I've got three of these. It's called Gothic Peril. So it's a nice kind of salmon colour, maybe speckles are red and speckles are grey, very, very lightly. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's the best one to come up? So there's the wee speckles of red, the wee speckles of grey. This is gorgeous. And I only dyed three and nobody wants them, so soon they will maybe make their way into my wee stash. Um, I've got... How many have I got of this? I think I've only got one of this left. I think I've only got one left. And it's called Avalon. So I think it's called, on the shop, I think I've put maybe like the spring waters, the white springs of Avalon or spring water of Avalon, something like that. So it's showing up really light blue there, but it's actually not light blue. It's, um, well, it is light blue, but it's not as light. It's a wee bit darker than what it's showing you on, on here. So... It's just a shame. I've got a set of these. It's Pixie Vetch. Um, set of these left. We minis. We bundle of minis. I love it. I love them. Oh, what else have I got in here? I've got this one, which is called the Sacred Waters. I've got two of them in the shop. I'm trying to do this quickly, sorry. I've got quite a few of these in the shop. These are wee lavender bags that I've been making. All hairs, of course, got to be hairs. So loads of them in the shop. Um, got this beautiful one here and it's called Purple Haze. And that's just a kind of lilac -y colour with um, kind of darker bits of purple and, and some kind of ready bits through it and that's lovely i've got how many of this have i got i've got right donegal nap and bfl mix and i've got one of each of these in the shop these went really quick and then these two just stayed um what else have i got what else Oh, I've got this. This is the Cheshire Smiles set. I have shown, there's, if you go into the, the shop, you'll see um, where I have made the socks. So this is like, um, for like, from like Alice in Wonderland, you know, my Cheshire cat. So I've called it Cheshire Smiles. So I've got that set. Oh dear, what else? But I'm just wanting to make sure I've kind of showed you. Right, that, I'll make these two my last two. So I've got two of these. This is called Belladonna. And it's a gorgeous kind of like mauve, a kind of mauve um, gothic pink. Gothic pink. Mauve is gothic pink. So this is gothic pink. And I have two of these. And I've got a wee bits of dark through it. So this is 100% superwash merino. So I've got two of these. The rest of these went really, really quickly. And then these two just stayed. So I think these kind of basically all sold the first day that I put them up and then these were left. 
this is all that I've got because I'm going to be dyeing more yarn, but I wanted to wait until, I just wanted to enjoy the summer. I didn't want to be stuck because I'm just a small dyer. I didn't want to be that more in the business and just constantly um, stuck. So I just want to do them when I kind of want to do them, if you know what I mean. Um, I sell loads of these offline, loads, um, and I love it. But these are just the kind of odds and sods that's left. And this one is Apple Blossom Fairy. So this is a lovely pink and it's different shades of pink. That's through it again, it's making it lighter. It's a bit darker than what it's shown on the camera. But it is lovely and it's got wee, wee bits of speckles through it as well. So go and have a look. I will link my shop below. Please go and have a look. And um, For this short video, it's now 35 minutes. So that's no bad going. <laughs> So it's just been the same length then. Um, so I am so happy. If you're still here, thank you so much. Let me know you're still here. Um, I, I, if you're like me, someone did come on and comment my last video and say, oh, I always watch it through my TV. So I don't comment. So do you know, and then it made me realise, you know, I do that as well. I watch it on my Xbox app. So then I can get down and like the video, but I can't like put a commenter on it. So what I've now started doing is putting it on my phone and then sending it to my TV so that I can like and comment on people's videos makes a massive difference and it makes a difference to us who are growing my channel. Um, so please, if you like the video, please subscribe. Um, please like the video and come back and watch. And this video will be out every single Wednesday. I always do try and get it up in the morning. Occasionally it, it goes up at some point on the Wednesday. Um, but I will try and get it up. Last week, I was like looking for a job. I'm saying, oh, if anybody knows anything, oh, I'm looking to get back into the NHS. And I had an interview on Monday. So I don't know the outcome of it yet. I will let you know in next week's video. So thank you. If anyone sent all the good vibes, I have a feeling that you did because I was buzzing on Monday and it was just, it's as if I was getting hit with all these vibes from not only internally, but with mine, but I was getting hit with all these external vibes and I was loving it. I felt as if I was just in this bubble and it was just I'm the most amazing feeling ever. So thank you. Thank you for anyone who was sending me all those good luck vibes, for um, who knew I was going for the interview and for anyone who was just sending me vibes, hoping that I got a, um, a job opportunity or an interview opportunity anywhere. I do... Thank you very much. So, have you enjoyed it? Like and subscribe, please. And thank you for sticking with me. So, blessed be.